Satan watched closely as God created the world, and he was jealous. Satan was Satan, known to be a fallen angel. He was known to be beautiful as well. That was the thing about him, and that's what gave him all the pride within himself, is he wanted to be the most beautiful one. He wanted to be God. And when he watched God create the world, create everything that's in it, create life, then create Adam, but then create Eve, Eve being beautiful, Satan was jealous. No, that wasn't your intoxicated aunt at Thanksgiving hastily recapping a dream she once had. That's also not your super drunk youth pastor explaining a story that he once had in a very strange drunken evening where he spoke directly with the devil, him or herself. It's Georgia Congresswoman, Major League Trader Grinch. Speaking at Turning Point USA, I mean Talking Point Memo USA, to a group of high school and college women at an event meant to indoctrinate them. If you're curious about whether MTG was able to steer that unhinged, chaotic Sunday school lesson back on track and form a coherent point, here's your answer. That's why Satan hates you. There's another reason why Satan hates women. is because women can do something Satan cannot do and he wants to be able to do. Remember, Satan wants to be God. God can create life. God did create life. God does create life. Satan cannot create life, but woman can. What? Is that crowd cheering at the end of that because of the point that Green made that women are better than Satan? Is that the point? Women can create life. Satan is very hot. He can withstand hot temperatures better than women can. And God likes the wind and the breeze, which is why he floats up in the sky. I mean, <laughs> what on earth is happening? To our country. So why is Marjorie Taylor Greene, an actual sitting member of Congress, for some inexplicable reason, telling an auditorium full of impressionable young women about Satan being jealous of them? Because of Charlie Kirk, the man that I proved live to his face thinks human fetuses are the same as dolphin fetuses. Do you truly, in your heart of hearts, truly believe that this is a human being? This? Without a doubt. Without a doubt? Yes. This is a dolphin fetus. So let me Without a doubt, a dolphin so fetus is a human being. This is a human fetus. Look how similar they look, but quite different. Dolphin. You just confirmed that a dolphin, in, in life, do you confuse dolphins for human babies often? But this person now somehow leads millions of people. It's pretty insane. And this event called the Young Women's Leadership Summit is explicitly targeted to teen and college-aged women. And the point of it seems to be explaining to them how their best purpose in life is that they should not work, not have careers, not focus on themselves, their own dreams, give all that up just to focus on the old antiquated limiting vision of only being a mother and a wife, that's it. Which is a great goal if you so choose it, but to be encouraged by a bunch of men and women who have chosen careers over families, or at least doing both together, and being told by them directly that you can't have it all, that it's a lie that you think you can have it all, like the founder of the event said, like Laura Ingram spoke to them about, like Candace Owen spoke to them about, a woman who's a mother, and guess what, has a career that she focuses a whole bunch on, that you should not have it if you're a woman. That's really beautiful. And also seems like they're targeting the wrong audience considering they are speaking directly to women who are attending a leadership summit. If you're a woman attending a leadership conference that you travel to and paid money to, you're probably not the demographic who's going to be staying home, just dating, trying to find a husband as soon as possible and crank out them white Christian babies like obviously these people want you to do. Here's what you should do, give up your dreams, don't even acknowledge your own dreams. You must date with the intent to marry. Put your career first. It's the best thing a human can do. You don't believe they said this? Here's Charlie Kirk saying all three of those sentences. You should enter the serious dating pool earlier than not, right? I'm talking 22, 23, 24. This whole idea of putting your career first, I think is a very, very dangerous proposition. What do I want most in my life? And if that thing is the best thing that I think a human being can do, which is to get married and have kids, then you should do that with clear intentionality. If you put off dating seriously for the intent of marrying, dating is not a vocation, it's not a hobby, it's not to use time. Dating must lead towards something. 
So you must date with the intent to marry. That's right, the message again is clear. Make more white Christian babies for future Trump and Trump protege armies so that they can have power and money and riches and influence and you can be at home hypnotized by their lies that destroy our country and put more money into their own pockets. Sound good? Thanks for attending the Talking Points USA Young Women's Leadership Conference. There are no refunds. You know, this whole idea of dating, like, oh, I'm just trying to you know, figure out if I'm good at this thing. You know, it's, it's not basketball. And if you don't think this event was as creepy still as it actually was, let me leave you with this actual clip where a woman said, what's the intent? How, how should I date as a young Christian woman just starting to date? And Charlie Kirk straight up tries to pimp out one of his employees because the man has high IQ to any woman in the audience to literally send him their resumes to date his employee. You don't think he said this? He said this. From the conservative movement, a lot of people are pushing, you know, getting married young, having kids young, starting a family. And from a Christian perspective, uh, this culture of dating isn't really in the Bible. What is your advice to in dating and pursuing marriage as a Christian? Sure, great question. Uh, first of all, let me ask, who here wants to find a husband? Raise your hand. Okay, so he's gonna kill me. There's someone that works for my team who's very high IQ. If you can email me resumes, freedom at charliekirk.com. I'm not kidding. So, what side is doing the indoctrinating? What side is doing the super creepy stuff that shouldn't be said out loud but is instead actually intentionally promoted by you? On the far insane right wing of this country, it's TPUSA, it's Charlie Kirk, it's Candace Owens, it's Laura Ingram. It's all of these people that lie directly to your faces so that they can make more money for themselves and keep all the power and keep the competition out of the workplace from any woman that has any dreams. Laura Ingram doesn't want you taking her jobs. Forget immigrants, Laura Ingram's afraid of a American white Christian women. Candace Owens is afraid of you taking her job. So you better stay home. You know what God intended. And you're very lucky because you're better than the devil because the devil ain't got no babies. I'm Ben Glebe for Rebel HQ. These are real things happening in the real world. If you'd like a break from it and want some stand-up comedy to make yourself laugh, follow me at Ben Glebe on TikTok, Twitter, and at slash Glebe on YouTube, where you can see three stand-up comedy clips every single week. And then we do all this madness again. Thanks. Oh, I'm just trying to, you know, figure out if I'm good at this thing. You know, it's, it's not basketball.